find let's find what this new solution should be for when the potential well uh, its width suddenly doubles, and we can. So we, we, we're, not, we're now trying to find what this uh, wave function would be under those new circumstances when the, when the width suddenly doubled. And so we'll assume that that wave function here is of, of the form uh, where we're going to take a weighted sum. Now remember, these, these ter this term here is, we look on it as a basis, a set, it's a basis state. It's one of a set of uh, basis states. So we can expand any wave function. Uh, and here's, here's, a, here's the function we're trying to um, approximate, if, if you like. So uh, we'll approximate this function as a weighted sum. Now the weighting just means to multiply by complex numbers. And here, here are your basis states. And, and uh, these are the basis states for when the, the width of your potential well is 2a, you're ranging uh, the potential zero between plus and minus a, right? so it's width 2a. So, so these are the appropriate basis states for that new circumstance when the, the width 2a. Right? And we're trying to find what these uh, coefficients, you know, these c's are. Right? So that, that's, that's the equivalent of our psi, right? our, our, our general wave function. And these these here are our basis states, and we're trying we're, going to, we're trying to find what these coefficients are, such that the left hand side equals the right hand side. Now, um, how to find what these coefficients are? Well, uh, this is again it's very similar to Fourier analysis, so uh, you can see why. Um, I, I really need to give some lectures on Fourier theory because it's very useful for quantum mechanics and, and other topics. Right? Now, to, to actually f solve for what these uh, values are, what you do is um, you multiply both sides by uh, this term here. And you may ask why what works. It allows you to calculate what these are. Right? So multiply both sides by cosine m pi x over 2a. He got an n. He got an n, right? And then, and then uh, with the result, you know, multiply both sides with this. Then you integrate uh, over. Uh, now let's see why. Okay, so the, we're we're talking we're talk, we're talking about this. This this is defined only in the range of uh, a over two and to minus a over 2, right? Because beyond that, this, this we got when uh, that, that's, that was what the wave function was before the sudden expansion, right? So uh, at time t0, um, this, uh, this wave function here was just 0 uh, outside uh, the range of a over 2. Okay, so that's, so that's why here. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, they're, they're the limits of your integration. Well, uh, and I said again, homework. Uh, do it for homework. So um, you you solve then for your for these coefficients, right? So uh, you know, ju just do as it says and multiply both sides by this. Integrate over this. And it's just I know pressure pressure level calculus, right? And, and actually prove the values for C, Cn, or here I've got M, right? And you'll get, you'll get, you'll get this expression. So you know, do, do that for homework. Now, uh, inside the square brackets here, uh, well, that bracket, its uh, value uh, is plus or minus 1. Um, now, M, M here's are integers, right? So you've just got multiples of pi over 4. That's... Uh, you know, like 45 degrees or so, cosine that's 1 over root 2, uh, sorry, yeah, 1 over root 2. Hmm. Uh, a bit of a question mark there, anyway. Alright, so, uh, well, assuming that expression is correct, that, uh, now let's, let's find, now n, this is for n is odd, that was always the, condition. So um, let's, let's find the first uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, six values. So for n is odd, well, in this case m is, m is odd, right? 
Uh, so, so for when m is 1, so you get just cos of pi over 4, it's cos of 45 degrees, which is what, 1 over root 2, so it gives you minus a half, so you get a 4, three. well anyway. So, uh, you know, calculate for, now m is odd, so do it for 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So you've got the six terms, right? You've, you've found uh, what these coefficients are for, for six values. And those six values are already uh, pretty much enough if you plug them into here, instead of um, summing from uh, 1 to infinity, you just sum, sum from 1 to, 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 to 11, okay? Then uh, the, this, this sum term is, is graphed here uh, as a dotted line, and it's pretty close to your original uh, this this term here, which, which is the solid line. So even with just six terms, you get a pretty close approximation to to what you're trying to approximate in terms of this weighted weighted sum. Now that that type of thinking is just typical of uh, Fourier analysis. So if you've studied Fourier analysis, this this kind of thing is old hat. Right? It's not nothing nothing new. If you haven't studied Fourier analysis, you, know, you need to think about this a bit and. I suggest uh, study for your analysis, right? and I, I will be giving some lectures on that. Right? Okay. So now that's that's all at uh, time t equals zero. So what happens? Um, what happens uh, as t uh, you know, t increases for t t greater than zero? Well, then your uh, your psi function um, for the the double the width problem. Um, will be uh, so. Here's here's your here's, here's your general uh, psi of n, right? Um, so you're now um, so this this is this is when uh, the t time is zero, and this is the more general form when t is not zero. Here's, here you've got you've got you've got this kind of thing here. That's that's the general uh, psi of n. Which is an orthonormal uh, wave function, and we're assuming that uh, we can uh, take a, a weighted sum to to get any psi function we want. Now, uh, this this is a solution to the case when the width is two a, right? And uh, we're assuming they're orthonormal, so we can. Uh, take a weighted sum and approximate any function, pretty well any function we like, right? Uh, but we are, we are talking about the ground state energy, so uh, have an E1, E1 term here. Okay, um, well I've run out of uh, board for this, this session. Um, I, hope, I hope that's clear. Um, it's uh, an illustration of uh, you, you have a basis state and you can use that to approximate any wave function that you want, well, within certain limits. Okay? And this is uh, an illustration of that basic idea.